Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days and I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Insane Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. Okay, it is Horde Night 77, and we're going to head on down to the Horde base here in just a couple moments. Uh, we are ready to go. we got all the supplies and everything we need uh, down there. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys um, the what I did here with the, um, with the stained glass on the A-frame. Um, I was able to figure out, you know, how to get it... Uh, to work. In fact, it wasn't really that hard. My brain just wasn't thinking right, but I, I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure I like this. I mean, it's kind of cool looking, but it's kind of weird looking too. <laughs> I I like this. I just wish we could put actual glass in where we could see the glass, but still see out and, and have it look good. We just don't have very good options for that here in this game. Um, so I haven't decided if I want to keep this or not. I'm, I'm very tempted to just tear it all down and leave it open and call it good, you know. Um, so I haven't decided yet, but I did want to show that to you. For those of you who watched the last um, Casual Construction episode, uh, this is what I came up with. The other thing, too, I mean, if you go, if you go look at it from out here, uh, it just, I don't know, it just looks a little off. You know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't quite, doesn't quite work with the... Uh, uh, I don't like the square edges for one thing, right? But, you know, you got this kind of weird stained glass, Norse Viking shingle square saw thingamadoodle going on up here. And then you got the log cabin blowing it. Just, I don't know, it's not doing it for me, you guys. It's not doing it for me. So I'm probably just going to tear all that back down and just keep it open. And, you know, we can pretend like there's big plate glass up there or something or not and, no, and not worry about it. But, um... I'll sleep on it though, okay? I'll sleep on it before I make that uh, that decision for sure. So anyway, all right, well, um, what I'm going to do is um, go down to the Horde base and get ready to go. And then I'll meet you guys down there and we'll do Horde 77. All right, guys, it is about time for us to start. Uh, what I'm going to do too, so I'm, I'm going to actually try and switch the... Uh, the turrets off and on a little bit so they're not running all night long and yeah, we'll see if that uh, how that does uh, we're about two blocks two squares whatever away from the next level too so let's see how many levels we get uh, for tonight's horde hopefully uh, things go well tonight and uh, we'll see what how, what we can do so we'll wait till we get a good stack of them down in there and then uh, I'll take a Adam junkies and then we'll start blowing them up I'm just gonna kind of move around a bunch too to encourage them to fall down into the chute come on zombos let's go no one got down there without hitting the, the fence on the way down just hit it on the way up I think they're, uh, man, must, a, a lot of them must be hanging out up there. All right, well, let's turn this on then. We already got a, a copper. I don't want him blowing up or spitting or doing anything like that. Okay, let's take an Adam Junkies. And blow these suckers up.
All right, guys, it's morning. Let's turn this back on so it can clear out the rest of the Zeke's on top. I think that worked out pretty good for me turning it off and on all night because we still have ammo, as you can hear. And it should be clearing the rest of the trash off the funnel and give us one more nice little boost here. We're going to throw like four grenades down there and let's blow them. This should be a good one. Yes, 5,800. It was okay. Okay, we still got a few more falling through, so hopefully the turrets are still going up there a little a little bit more anyway. Uh, I made a big mistake. I don't know if you guys noticed this in the time lapse, but I made a big mistake and I accidentally shot a demo. And so in the process, we lost two of our blade traps. Um, I was trying to shoot a cop, but uh, th there was just too many of them down there. And I hit the demo instead of the cop, so... That was my bad, but at least we didn't lose all of our blade traps. Okay, I'm gonna um, let that keep running, uh, but let's go upstairs really quick. And if there are any more Zeeks in the funnel, we'll clear them out ourselves, Just so that we can minimize the damage that uh, they will do. Uh, but all in all, not too bad of a Horde Knight. We got three levels in total, but... Um, actually, just a little over two levels, uh, full levels. So I put the first level in uh, Machine Gunner level four, and then um, we have two more points uh, to spend as well. Um, I guess I... Oh, yeah, I did put my shovel in here. I was going to say, I thought I did. So let's just hop out there and see if there's any more Zeeks. At least my 4 by is not buried in the ground this time like it was the last two times. It was really weird. Alright. I don't see any more zombies and I don't see any really major damage in the funnel there. Uh, it's looking pretty damn good actually. Wow, okay. Not bad. Um... And that's all out of ammo, so that means all of them are, because that was the, the latest turret. But that actually worked out really well, I think. Um, you know, with me turning it off and on throughout the night, it wasn't that hard to do. And we got a really, and actually a pretty damn good, the funnel's in pretty damn good shape, really, if you think about it. I mean, I'm sure there's some damage down there, but nothing's completely broken. That's the main thing. It survived the entire night, so good deal. All right, let's go back down there and just check whatever loot we have. I'm not really too terribly worried about the loot, to be honest with you, because, I mean, we're richer than God, for one thing. And we don't. There's just not a whole lot more that we need. I was more interested in getting up here and making sure, you know, that the top of the funnel was in good shape. Uh, we can leave, yeah, we can just leave all that stuff in there. Uh, we do want to make sure we take this, and we'll take a, an eye candy back down there with us, too. I know some of the bags are going to despawn, but it's all right. Like I said, we've got more loot than we know what to do with, really. <laughs> but hopefully we'll get one or two nice pieces out of it. I still have a couple blue things that I wouldn't mind upgrading to purple. Okay, let's turn that off and hop down here. Yeah, we still got quite a few bags. Yeah, we lost two of the blade traps. That's really, really sucks. Okay, let's pop this real quick. And see what we got for fat loots here. A blue pick. Yeah. Basic stuff so far. No, that's not too bad if we were doing uh, pommel peed. Okay, that's good. That's pretty good. Not bad, not bad. That's really nice, actually. Um, we need to compare that to the one we have, because that could be better than what we currently have. I think we still have a blue a blue pick. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need those. We don't need this. We could eat this now to free up another spot. Likewise, we'll eat the soup stock now. 
We got some hazmat gloves with black dye. Nice. Okay. Oh, an SMG. Okay. Pretty good. Another auto shotgun. More ammunition. Okay. Um, here, let's eat this. I don't care about those. Isn't really anything else. Yeah, we can get rid of that too. I keep picking up the shit that I threw out. We already know that. I'm not I don't care about the water so much. Ooh, that's a nice find. Really nice find. Uh we'll, we'll get that later, I guess. Okay, all just basic stuff. Okay. You know what we need to do? Um Let's drop that again. I'm just going to temporarily put a, a chest up on the wall in here so we have some place to put something. Yeah, we got we got fairly decent damage down here, but remember, we had a demo blow up, so a very large portion of that is from the demolition. Zombo, Zombaluski. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to pick that up because otherwise it's going to get in my way. Okay. Hazmat mask. Okay, there we go. That was pretty decent loot, actually. Not bad at all. We got a, another robotic turret. A sledge turret. Um... Not as good as ours, of course, because we have a purple one. Not that that automatically means it's better, but usually it does. Uh, we could scrap that. We don't care about those. But yeah, not bad loot. I'd like to compare this to my, you know, my current pick. And actually, we have a, a blue sniper rifle too, so we should compare those two. Those could be the the prize of the night for sure. Uh, let's grab both of these right now because I think I have. Uh, those guns up in the here in the base okay that we already know you know what screw that i don't care about it just not important it is not important okay i'll get the rest of that stuff later let's compare so here's our current sniper this is what we just looted and the, oh wow that's a lot better plus eight more damage one more round of the magazine it does have a little less range but i mean you know sniper rifle right who cares Meaning that it's even, even it, that it has less range, it's still going to reach out and touch. Okay, cool. Uh, I think I left my pick up in the four by, so we'll have to compare that later. But, anyways, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. Um, we bought two blade traps from one of the traders a couple days ago, I think. So uh, I can I'll be able to replace those. That was too bad that, you know, I let that demo blow up. I mean, it was my fault, of course, because I shot him. But, uh, you know, sometimes that stuff happens. But overall, uh, over, uh, overall, <laughs> overall, uh, not a bad Horde Knight. Uh, did pretty good. The base did pretty well. You know, we're still only getting about two levels per night, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Um, the one thing I have to take into account, though, is, and I was thinking about this earlier, is that um, this is kind of an expensive base. I mean, it takes... It takes 12 full stacks of 9mm rounds to fill those turrets up. And, man, if we're doing that every horde night, that's going to get expensive. So um, I might try I might try and see if we can just have, you know, uh, give them a path down here. The thing, you know, the thing about that is if we do it, do I want to still use the main chute here? If I if the answer to that is yes, I mean I suppose we could build a little spiral pathway all the way down there. It's gonna be really narrow though. It probably wouldn't work for them to to fall. They wouldn't fall very easily that way. They could get clogged up in there too. Uh, what I could do though is I could dig out all around the chute um, and then just 
you know, bust out the, the concrete, you know, and widen it a block on all sides. And then we could do the stair step. One of you guys told me in the comments that if you use the end caps for the pillars, so like the pillar end caps, um, we probably don't, can't see that here. Yeah, we can't see that here, but, um, there, that the zombos will still path down them, but they, you know, they're a little more slipperies and so they could fall off of them. So if we did that, um, what we would, what we'd have to do is have the path come spiral down to here. And, um, uh, you know, I would still like to get them somehow in the pit though. And if it just comes down to here, they're probably going to all try and congregate right there. Whew. Yeah. I'm not sure how well that would work. We'd have to, we'd have to play around with it a little bit, but anyway, I mean, here's, here's the, here's the verdict with this base. Okay. I've, you know, we've done okay with it. We've gotten it to work, but at no point have I felt like it's worked fabulously. You know what I mean? It's worked, but it's not as great as I had hoped that it would be. Uh, not to mention the fact that, you know, four SMGs every Horde night, 12 full stacks of 9mm, that's kind of expensive. And at some point, we're probably going to run out of brass and won't even be able to do that many. So it, we might need to try something different. You know, as much as I hate to say it, we put a lot of, of effort into this base. It wasn't wasted effort, though. I mean, we got shit little levels and XP from doing it, and it was fun and all that, but I just don't know if it's viable to continue uh, using this, at least in its current form. So I'll think of that over, and, you know, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. I'm about a week and a half ahead of you guys now, so I won't, you know, hear back from you until, uh, until then. Um, so... Yeah, let's just kind of play it by ear and see what happens. But anyways, I'm going to let you go here, and uh, I'll just get everything repaired up, and then um, we'll figure out what we're going to do in the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.